Meantime, let's go to the story. The UCT Center of Transport says stormy weather and fires have put infrastructure worth at least 20 billion rand at high risk. To tell us, to tell us more rather about this and how technology can be used to protect infrastructure, we're joined uh, by Rudy Operman. He's the Middle East and Africa Manager for Engineering and Training at Axis Communications. Thank you so much for your time. Now, the specific challenges posed by extreme weather to critical infrastructure is quite dire. We see it every time and every time it happens we are basically playing a reactive role, right, which obviously is understandable because Mother Nature will do what Mother Nature does. But you're saying technology can actually help us in mitigating this. How? Yes, thank you. It's good to be here. Um, of course, we weather is not something we can stop and uh, at best what we can try and do is try and understand it better, try and detect it early, um, maybe analyze trends and understand what the impact will be. But I think the ultimate, uh, what we ultimately would aim for is to try and mitigate the, the damage and maybe the risk that the extreme weather will pose. Mm. And now the potential of smart technology as a tool that can be adapted to address these challenges. What are they? What, what is the potential that we're missing out on by not, uh, you know, adequately using technology? I would not say that we're completely missing out on it. Of course, the uh, city of Cape Town is, has been a city that, that's implemented smart technology uh, uh, quite extensively. But it, of course, we can always say that more can be done. Um, what we are seeing is, you know, when we have smart surveillance technology, so let's take a surveillance camera, for instance. Um, these days, what, what we are able to do is th these systems or these surveillance cameras can coexist with other smart uh, technologies as well.